Antonio's baby did not die in that plane crash, and I am sure of it. I can't keep living a lie. I want to come home. I don't know where he went. But Jessica, he had your mother with him. I think Jessica's gone to meet Mitch. Get out of the way! No! There's been enough killing! I'm not going anywhere! for me you know on the plane right here that was all i could think about what was i going to say to you when i saw you then say it and get out they had a memorial for you people stood in aisles your students cried their eyes out you have no right to come here and judge me now oh, okay then how about the people who love you do you have any idea what you've done to them rj knows where i am and how about uncle hank or Nora, I thought the two of you were so close. We were close. What about Antonio? He loved you more than anything in this world, and you took that away from him. You don't know what you're talking you about. You have no idea how much he suffered because of you. If you wanted to leave, then fine. Tell him. Why did you have to break his heart? I just want to know. What do you think it's going to do to Antonio when he finds out you're still alive? Answer me! Max, what are you planning on ratting me out to the cops again? I don't know. You plan on committing any more burglaries? Well, just get out of here before I lose my cool, all right? Hey, look, relax. I just came by to pick up my personal items. Well, please make sure that they do not include any of my tables or chairs. Oh, I'm gonna miss you. <laughs> Woohoo! Why are you so happy? Well, if you must know, I've had a change of fortune, good buddy. I am rolling in the dough. <laughs> well, I didn't know that being a rat paid so well. Listen, if I hadn't headed off your little heist here, you'd be headed for prison right now. That's my business. Now, normally, I would agree with you. But you just lost three loved ones, and you are not thinking straight. Now, you looked out for me. I was returning the favor. Thanks. You're welcome. And in answer to your question why I'm feeling so great, guess who just won the lottery? <laughs> right. No, I'm serious. I just won the lottery. You know, you better think twice about uh, cutting me out of ultraviolet. Why is that? Well, because I just might open my own club and give Capricorn a run for its money. Look, get out of here. Just take your stuff and go. Unless you want to sell me this place. How much? You sell Capricorn in a minute for the right price. So come on, Maxie. I'm not going to wait around for you. What's your best off? to Faxi Raxis. What can I do you for? Oh, well, I know it is a little bit late. Oh, nonsense. Beauty is a 24-hour preposition, if you catch my draft. <laughs> Are you sure about this? Oh, you got luscious locks, kiddo. Thank you. I want to get a cut. No, 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 no. A trim. A trim. Yeah, I can't send her back to him. I'll be looking like a different girl. <laughs> yeah, sure. You know, don't worry about anything, Mrs. B. You know, I'm gonna make her look fabulous. Oh, uh, hey, listen, do you think it'll be all right if I left her alone and just go back and close up the diner? Oh, yeah, don't worry. We can make magic. Uh, no, no, no. Just a trim. Yeah, 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 just a trim. Aye, aye, senorito. <laughs> Uh, oh, you know Nigel, don't you? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, oh, and I understand congratulations are in order. Oh, yes. 
Um, oh, th thank you. Uh, Paradise uh, lost and found. <laughs> lovely. Um, yeah, but excuse me, I, I, I've really got to get back to the diner. Oh, 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 no, wait, first. <laughs> Please, an invitation to the wedding. We, um, well, it just means so much to us to share our happiness with everyone. Beautifully put, my darling. Uh, mm. <sighs> thank you. Excuse me. Oh, Nigel, we are terrible. <laughs> you got a lot of hair potential. If you just give me a chance, I'm gonna make you 1,000% glamorization. Oh, but my godmother, she said... Oh, yeah, 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 trim. Well, you know, a trim, that's cute, but uh, I want you to be drop-dead gorgeous. <laughs> so, you really think you can make me look more... Oh, hey, hell yes. Moore can't even describe what I'm going to do for you. <laughs> Shoot, okay, please? Go away, Jessica! No, 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 no! Jessica, let him go! He'll take you in! Oh, to hand deliver your wedding invitation. So oh, great. It goes under the fat chance file. You're not coming? No, because you're ruining my life. What do you mean? Excuse me a second, kiddo. Mm -hmm. Asa was all set, ready to sign over the whole building to me. All I had to do was give him the song that was going to get the two of you out of your hypnocratic love affair. Now he's going to close down the hair haven and kick me to the curb. Asa would never do that. When he makes a deal, he makes a deal. Excuse me? And, well, it's not Roxanne's fault that we have fallen irrevocably, eternally, hopelessly in love. Oh, yes, it is. Her damn friend, Mysterio, turned the two of you into a couple of dogs in heat. That's disgusting. You said it, bozo. Come on, Roxy. Give me the tune so I can snap these two out of it. I told you, Mysterio told me it was Melancholy Baby. Well, it's not. He said it was Melancholy. Well, you know, maybe he never even hypnotized them. Maybe they just fell in love on their own. Oh, please. I will give you 72 hours to come up with a real song to break the spell, or this money pit is history. I'm starting to rake it in, and you know it. I'll take the moss. And I'm going to get another backer before you can say dispossessed. Forget it. Roxy, I own the damn building. 72 hours from now, this is a parking lot. Asa, just let it go. Admit that you're cranky because you don't have love in your life the way Nigel and I do. Oh, snap out of it, woman. You and Nigel in love is pure voodoo. Why does it mean so much to you? It doesn't. Oh, it doesn't. Well, it could have fooled me. You two want to make a fool out of yourselves, fine. I wash my hands of the whole lot of you. Does that mean that you're not going to hurt the hair haven, then? No, no, no. I'm going to drive the damn bulldozer myself. Wait, no, I'm telling you. Mysterio said that it was Melancholy Baby. Uh, and listen, it's not my fault. He said it was Melancholy Baby. Nigel, Nigel, we can't go through with this. I mean, what did Roxy ever do to hurt us? Speak for yourself, madam. She threw a lip lock on me that left scar tissue. Oh, I, 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 oh come. Are you too satisfied? Thanks to you, the hair haven is closing. It's going to be a big pink parking lot. I can't tell you how sorry I am. Maybe Mr. Buchanan will hire you to paint the lines for him. Uh, maybe I, I should come back. No, 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 no. Honey, there might not be a later. So, come on. Sit your cute little self down here. If we're going to go down, we are going to go down with style. Bulldoze my butt. 
Well, no, it wasn't this place without a fight. Dorian, I just got a phone call from the sun. Why didn't you tell me that Mitch held you and Vicky hostage? I was going to tell you about well, it. Well, I want to know wow. about it now. Ah. Well, oh, I'm so sorry. Excuse me. Uh, well, are you all right, Walker? It's just a little tender. Well, it is a, a gunshot wound. Hmm. Look, Dorian, if Mitch came after you, what's to keep him from coming after you tonight? I mean, this isn't just about you here. Uh, I, all right, look, I'm well aware I of that. I just don't want to talk to about it right I now. I want to know, is it true? What? What? Did Mitch lure you and Vicky to St. Jude's to get him to sh for you to shoot her? Yes. But I've already told the police my story tonight twice. I would like to put it out of my mind until tomorrow. What if he comes after you tonight, Dorian? Look, I want to know exactly what happened, and I want to know now. Is this a joke? No, no, so you and I are no longer on a joking basis, so are you going to put up or shut up? You love this club. I remember when you named it after Carrie's birth sign. Carrie's gone. She's not here, and I think it's time for me to go to. What? I'm leaving Landview. Oh. RJ, I know you're going through a rough time right now, but it is going to get better. The people in this town have treated me like a criminal from day one, no matter what I do. You've been a criminal since day one. They didn't make that up. Look, I've been legit for a long time. <laughs> huh? You see? You see? Even my so-called friends don't give me the benefit of the doubt. Hello? You just tried to rob an art gallery. But I didn't, did I? Is that what this is about? Look. My brother can only think about putting me in jail for some conspiracy, all right? And look, look, look at this. Look at this. It's my third club that I've built from nothing. What, do I get any credit for it? When people show up, they buy drinks. What more do you want? A little stability, a little respect. How many times have the cops torn up my places because of a prejudiced hunch, huh? Well, I'm sick of it, sick of it. Why should I stay in Landview when I can go anywhere in the world, open a club, and start over? What about your friends and your family? Henry has already been covered in this discussion. Nora works for him. Elizabeth is dead. My daughter and my granddaughter are gone. Granddaughter? Well, that's how I thought of her. If Elizabeth was alive, then... RJ, I'm sorry. I am. I'm... Stop. Just I know what you're going through. Here. Stop it. You're as big a backstabber as anybody else in this town. You mean you're just gonna walk out on Evangeline Williamson? Hmm? That's none of your business. Okay? Look, are you going to make me an offer or not? If you hate me so much. Why would you sell this place to me? <laughs> it's all about the green, friend. You sure? Okay, look, sure. I was gonna stay here for the rest of my life with my daughter. That's not gonna happen now. So I'm out. How is Antonio? And why do you care all of a sudden? Why do you? Because I care about Antonio very much. Are you and he... I'm marrying Christian. But the Vegas are going to be a part of my family now. And it, it makes me sick how you have treated them. I made a mistake. A mistake? Antonio went crazy doing stupid things because of you. And all the while, all the while, you and your mom, you're, you're hanging out here just laughing at us. My mother is dead. She died in that plane crash. The baby and I were supposed to be on that flight with her. And we got in a fight, and I wouldn't fly with her. I drove here to Toronto with a baby. And I didn't even know about the accident until the next day. I'm sorry. Me too. You said you, you had a 
a fight. Yeah. I don't even remember what it was about now. Yeah, but I, I don't I don't understand. What why did you take the baby? Why didn't your mother just take the baby with her? Because she's not my mother's. Jamie is my daughter. Mine and Antonio's. Nigel, we can't go through with this if we are going to hurt innocent people. I hardly call Roxanne innocent. But we can't let Asa destroy Roxy's dream just because we're trying to teach him a lesson. If Mr. Buchanan finds out that we were dehypnotized before we ever left the casino, he'll be more impossible than ever. We can't give up now. Why not? Because as difficult as Mr. Buchanan is, we still have him. And I'd rather miss that big house. Even with the stench of those abominable Cuban cigars. <laughs> yes, they are his favorite, aren't they? Don't I know it? It was my job to think of creative ways of escorting them through customs. <laughs> he must be running low by now. Hmm. Nigel, we have to stay on message. What are we going to do? The real problem is Mr. Buchanan can't admit he misses you, and it's driving him stark raving mad. He still loves you. He always has. He did a good impression of it. We can't give up until Mr. Buchanan admits he still loves you. And Roxy? Ta da! <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. What do you think? Oh! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, that took so long. I, uh. Where's Adriana? Ay, Dios mío! What did you do to her? You have to tell Antonio. This changes everything. He didn't tell me that he was Jamie's father. Why should I tell him that I'm the mother? Do you still hate your mother? She's dead. That's not what I asked. No, I don't hate her. She's... She raised me. She gave me everything so I, sh I could have a good life. And now she's gone. But you still hate Antonio. How did you find me? I, uh, overheard some phone calls. And I saw a package being delivered to a K. Randall in Toronto, and I figured it out. But what I'd like to know is, are you planning on telling Antonio that his daughter is still alive? Are, are you just planning on spending the rest of your life hiding out? RJ is thinking about coming up here to live with us. You are thinking about going back, aren't you? What about you, now that you know we're alive? What are you gonna do about it? There. That's it. Take it or leave it. Does that include the furniture, the fixtures? The works. I give you the key, I walk out that door, and I never look back. Well, I'll have to check your books, of course, but the number seems fair. <laughs> fair? I'm practically giving you the place. Hey, I thought you were in a hurry to get out. I am. So do we have a deal? Oh, I hate a rat like you running my place, but... At least I'm leaving some jazz in there. Hmm. Are you selling Capricorn? To Max, of all people? I think I better go check the books. What's this about, RJ? Well, I've... I've decided that it's time for me to leave Landview. What are you thinking about going in that river? You're lucky to still be alive right now. Did you find her? Did you find her? It's... 
dark and the current current's running very fast. As soon as I warm up, uh, I'm going back in. No, you're not. We've got rescue teams on both sides of the river. They've got the right gear. They know what they're doing. They don't need you going off half caught, making their job harder. Yes, We've got two people in the river right now. Hey, what's going on? I said no civilians. So, not secure their ferry. Well, I went by the station looking for you. They told me two people had gone in the river. No. It was Mitch and Jessica. God. We're gonna get her. We'll find her. All right, where's the medevac unit? You okay? I'm fine. As soon as I catch my breath, I'm going back in the fire. The worst part was being trapped inside that crate. I tell you, I would have kicked my way, clawed my way out of it, or died trying. Hello? It's Bob Buchanan. I've got some news about your brother. Have you found him? Well, we did, but he evaded arrest. He uh, jumped off a bridge into the Lantano River. It's not likely that he will survive. Is there any chance at all? We've got rescue teams on both sides of the river. All right, I'm coming down there to help. No, look, we've got the whole area cordoned off. There's nothing you could do down here anyway, so why don't you stay put, and then I'll keep you up to speed. Now, at least now... He won't be able to hurt anyone else. He already has. Jessica Buchanan went into the river with him. What is it? Walker, what happened? You're gonna stay right here. Jessica's down there somewhere. I'm not gonna just stand up here and wait for her body to wash up. Or I will have you hauled out of here. girl to get to the awesome bodacious babe underneath all of it <gasps> she looks like she works the streets yeah high fashion avenue that is <gasps> pues a mi me gusta i like it oh thanks oh, your mother would kill me let's get you out of here before before she does any more damage hey wait wait wait, wait hey, hey hey you didn't pay for it you don't get paid for child abuse you know i think she looks great tu parece una muchacha de, de la calle gracias a dios que tu mamá no te ha visto así ay dios mío i'm not gonna let asa bulldoze this place if i have to lay in front of the wheels myself yes 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 are you sure yes i'm absolutely sure but where is she why can't anybody find her this thing's moving too fast Listen, let me take you home. No! We're not going anywhere! No, there's nothing that you can do here. I, I promise I'll call you the minute we know anything. No! My daughter is out there someplace, and I'm going to be standing right here waiting when she, when she comes out of the water. Commissioner, you have to let her go back in. No. We found her hat. She may be caught on the rock. She may be unconscious. There are drivers in there right now. They have safety lines. So I'll suit up. No, you're not trained for it, Antonio. Plus, you're hurt. It doesn't matter. It's just a few cuts. I'll be fine. And you're too emotionally involved. Listen to me. You stay out of this. No, no. Antonio, you stay out of this. Or I swear I will have you locked up. You're leaving? Where did this come from? Well, I've been... I've been thinking about it for a while now. I mean, this town has never given me a fair shake. Well, you never let it stop you before. What changed? My brothers declared war on me again. You had a fight. Yeah. That's all I ever do. Antonio Vega is out there now waiting for me to park in a tollway zone. <laughs> Something. That's nothing a good lawyer can't handle. Even you can't beat this kind of prejudice. Give me a chance. Oh, yeah, and see, my one supposed friend turns out to be a blood-sucking, backstabbing... Do you nope. really think that he's your only friend? You really are the only person I regret leaving behind here. 
So, why the big rush? Did something happen? Terry happened. She changed everything for me when she showed up here. I'm sorry I never got a chance to meet her. Yeah, you, you two would have liked each other. I'm sure we would have. Look, I can't do this. I can't do this anymore. Landview just feels empty for me. RJ? It doesn't matter how far you try to run. Carrie is gone. Nothing you can do will bring her back. When Antonio lost you, it was like... It was like he didn't even want to live himself. Stop it, now! No, you need to hear this. It took him months. It took him months to face things. But he did. With the help of my sister. Jessica? Mm-hmm. They're good together. And I don't know what's gonna happen. You and the baby turn up. Then don't tell him. As long as he doesn't know, he can go have a happy life with someone else. Okay. I can't let Antonio think that his baby is still dead. Okay, I can't lie to Christian and my family. You used to lie pretty easily, if I remember correctly. You know, I grew up without a father. And I'm not gonna let that happen to another child. Fine. Tell Antonio, by the time he gets here, I'll be long gone. Carrie, if Antonio knows his daughter is alive, he's not gonna give up until he finds her. I know that. Antonio's feelings, they didn't just disappear when, when he thought you were dead. It's yours. No, not entirely. Do you still love him? Even if I did, we could never get past what happened, Natalie. Maybe not. But you do have a lot of unfinished business to take care of. And wouldn't it be so much better to get it over with? Without my daughter, this place is poison. What about ultraviolet? I can give you your check back. I'm pulling the plug. Mr. Barmeister, Wenbruski, Rapido, come on pronto. I'm a little short, but uh, I'm good for it. Sorry, I don't work on an honor system. I'll pay. You will? Yeah, sure. Go ahead, Phil, pour the lady beer. I heard the slum was doing great. Yeah, well, it is doing great, but I got big bills to pay. And I went lip gloss to lip gloss with that diner lady from hell. Carlotta? Join the 20th century, babe. 21st. Whoa, whoa, hey, just slow down, okay? Just slow down. Come on. Oh, I'm just trying to mow my pain a little bit. Ace thinks he's gonna bulldoze the hair haven. What? Well, he's gonna have to use me as a human shield. You interested? Let me get back to you on that one. Yeah, well, I'm going over there. I'm gonna make sure he eats his words. But I thought I'd come over here for a little fornication first. Let's, let's back up to that bulldozer thing, all right? Okay, check this out. My magician pal, Mysterio, he hypnotized Nigel and Renee into thinking that they were in love with each other. And Melancholy Baby was supposed to be the song that was gonna make them snap out of it. Only, well, you know, I asked Asa for a million bucks to name that tune. Uh, and he said, no way, babe. But he said, I'll give you the hair haven, lock, schlock, and barrel. And now, Melancholy, that was a total bust. Renee and Nigel, they're getting married. And uh, Asa said that he's gonna knock down the hair haven and make a big pink parking lot. 
I'm sorry I asked. Can I get another one? Uh, yeah, sure, Phil. Another one for the lady? Yeah. What are you, uh, Mr. Money, uh, Bucks, uh, this time? Actually, yes, I am. I'm rolling in the green again. Yeah, well, I wish I was, and I should be, if everybody would leave me and the hair haven alone. You know, the place is so sweet. You know, the mural on me, it should be hanging in the museum. I wonder what it's gonna look like with bulldozer tracks running down the middle of it. Mm. Sure, I never got by. What are you doing right now? Oh, uh, well, okay. actually. Okay. But, this uh, might Bill. not be around for a long time, so this is your last chance to check out this place. Believe me, Vicky, you're a lot better off here. I called Joey. He's on his way. Well, I don't know what I'm going to do if we no, don't find. We're doing everything we can. Dorian, uh, are you all right? Why, why are you here? Uh, no, I'm fine. I was so relieved to hear that that you had been rescued. But then I heard about Jessica. Is she okay? Both going to find her. She's going to be just fine. Is there any sign yet of her or of Mitch? We found Jess's hat. Uh... River's running pretty fast this time of year. Well, I'll believe Mitch is dead when I see his body. Oh, my God, don't say that. <laughs> Jesse could be dead. Oh, my God. I can't stand this. I gotta get down there. You can't. You heard the commissioner. I don't care. Don't be Jessica needs me. Don't be stupid. What good is risking your life gonna do, huh? Get out of my way, Chris. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> has a lot of curbside appeal. Makes you take your eyes right off the road. Oh, it's eye-catching. I'll give you that. Sure is. Ta-da! It's... Wow. Check it out. That's an original Vega. I like it. Very dolly. Well, you had a real good model. Okay, so, Maxie, you got your uh, manicure pedicure stations and 100% uh, hydroponic and all the current magazines and numero uno, the most important thing, what's going on between these two pierced ears right over here. Ah, the brains behind the organization, huh? Yeah, but it takes a lot more than brains. It takes, like, an artiste. You know, I'm totally into renovation. You know, the va-va-voom factor. I'll bet you're really good at it, too. Thanks. You know, uh, when I went over the Capricorn, I wasn't going over there just for, uh, fortification. I wanted to get drunk. I mean, really drunk. Because of Asa? Yeah, I mean, how am I supposed to fight that gazillionaire? Well, maybe there's a way you haven't thought of. <laughs> yeah, well, believe me, I've been rocking my brain. I mean, the guy's got everything. What does he want with this place? Well, he's got everything except Renee and Nigel. Yeah, well, that's not my fault. I mean, you know, technically, maybe it is my fault, but, you know, Melancholy Baby, that was supposed to be the song. Mm. Oh, Max, it's all screwed up. I finally found something that I really like, and I really, really like this. I don't want to lose the hair haven. I guarantee it. In my experience, running away is always a mistake. Well, I, I appreciate your advice, but I've already made up my mind. You know, if you're in trouble with the law, I can help. I wish you could. But there is something. Is there a woman? Involved. How can this happen? So how I lost Carrie, how can this happen to Jessica?
Would you care for cream or sugar? No, nothing, thank you. Well, I think uh, you should drink some tea. Come. Thank you. You know, Dorian, I, I think maybe you should just go home, you know. No. I'm not going to leave you until Joe gets here. Why haven't they found her yet? I'm sure she's going to be all right, Vicky. The water is still so cold. Drink your tea. Dorian, I, I really, really appreciate what you're doing. I really do, but I think I just need to be alone, please. Fine. Good night, then. Thank you. Good night. I just um, needed you to know that I'm fine. That's all. I love you.